Hey guys, this is Sam, and there's been a lot of talk lately, a lot of chitter chatter on the Twitter waves and basically everywhere else online about USB-C versus Lightning. So like a lot of you guys, I've been using Lightning since the iPhone 5 was announced. And if you want to remember back to that painful transition time, people were outraged because 30 pin was the future. It's what all these accessories had. I remember I had one or two, I think 30 pin docks that I would plug my phone into my iPhone 4S or my iPod Touch 3rd and 4th gen. It was just what we knew at the time. But then Lightning came along and fast forward to now, the move made a lot of sense. The port is pretty fast for what it is, although it's stuck back at USB 3. And Apple puts it on most of their mobile devices today, and it's also super thin and small. I mean, back with the iPhone 4S, you didn't need a super thin port because the iPhone 4S wasn't that thin of a phone. But now with the iPhone 7, the iPhone 6, 6S, and probably the iPhone 8, Lightning makes sense because it's so small and it's reversible and it works really well for mobile devices. But now there's this new kid on the block and his or her name is USB-C and they are coming in hot to take over everything else. The new MacBook Pros have it, new Android phones, I think the Google Pixel has USB-C. Android phones for the past few years have had them and at this point it would make sense if Apple started to look at placing this port on mobile phones instead of just desktop computers or laptops like the new MacBook Pro. Every year, the list for reasons to use USB-C just keeps growing. Number one, you're not locked down by Apple. And although that has its benefits for Apple as a company because they can license the Lightning port and make money off of it, selling it sort of like another product to other third-party companies, USB-C is universal and anybody can jump on that train whenever they want with or without Apple's permission. And when so many companies jump on board, you start seeing this innovation like fast charging and actually USB-C as a port itself has more pins than lightning meaning that it supports a higher data transfer speed so it can go up to I think 10 gigabytes per second if you support USB 3.1 Gen 2 so there's all these fun things that come with USB-C that we really haven't seen with lightning now with that being said as much as I am a fanboy of USB-C it's got some drawbacks, like needing dongles for basically everything at this point. But I want to go back to that analogy or the story from earlier of how people got outraged moving from 30 pin to lightning. We're seeing the exact same thing here. History, in this case, is repeating itself with USB-C. Nobody wants to upgrade because of the famous adage, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But we will be thanking ourselves three, four, or five years down the road just like we never thought we would do back in 2012 with the Lightning port, we're like, oh, USB-C is actually really great and it's totally worth the dongle life for that awkward one to two year transition period. I don't know, they're both really good ports, they're both fast, they're both relatively new, and they're good all around. I mean, plus they're both reversible and even though that's not like a massive feature, it's just handy in the first place. So I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like down below. It would really help me out. And I would send you a heart emoji uh, if I could. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I've been Sam. Hope you guys are doing great. And I will talk to you later.